Hey guys, real quick before the video starts, um, just wanted to do a quick shout out to my art page on Instagram. I draw a lot of video games on uh, this like cartoony style. Um, if you're interested in checking that out, um, I'll leave a link to it in the description. I also have, in case you wanted to commission me, I have a link to my Fiverr page. Um, and if you hit me up, um, I'll give you some better prices. Um, on commissions and stuff so I'll draw pretty much anything for pretty cheap and I'll do it pretty fast um, I think I've got prices that'll beat pretty much anybody else out there in the game right now so yeah if you want if you're looking for a quick gift or something for a, a birthday or really just something to you know laugh at or make your day a little brighter head on over to my page and consider giving me a commission Oh, this isn't so bad. I remember this room. This room is not so bad. I'm, I just wasn't good at it. <laughs> oh, what's up, guys? We're playing Celeste. I've been trying to beat this game recently. Um. Oh, this is super easy, dude. What? I thought this was... Okay. No, I quit for, like, no reason yesterday. I got super pissed off, and I was like... Because I thought this level was super long. Um, but it wasn't. I thought this was a continuation of that last one. Um, I'm pausing so I can actually articulate here. <laughs> um, I saw... Fuck. I saw this part, and I thought it was, for some reason, that it was a continuation of that last room. So I was like, are you kidding me? I have to do this, like, long crap again? Like, I'm not, no. Like, because because the, the room before this, you guys didn't see, was re absolutely ridiculous. And the one after this is even stupider. The one after this, I'd argue, is the worst. <laughs> it sucks. I haven't, uh, to be fair, I haven't played it yet. I'm just... Like assuming it's bad, but like, oh, once you see it, man, you'll understand why. <laughs> Because it's just dealing with those creatures. And those creatures are bad. <laughs> to be honest, they're just basic fucking mobs. They're not even they're not like invincible or anything. And they don't even like they don't even hurt you all the time. They, sometimes they'll just bump into you. They're like little funny fish. No way that worked! Okay. This this room is way too easy. I thought you had to like jump on his head. And then toss it up there, but you can just toss it. It doesn't even matter. This room 
yeah, they need to act. I thought this game was way more difficult than it was, man. I'm not gonna lie. The last time I played this level, this was, like, impossible for me. Maybe it's because I've played this multiple times, okay? That, that, that could be part of it. But, like, at the same time, man, I just remember this being so much harder. Maybe it's definitely part of it was because I'm on the I was on the Nintendo Switch playing this the first time. And if you know if you know if you have a Switch and any other console, you know that the Switch's controls compared to the other consoles, like the input feedback and the, for some reason it just didn't let me through the game there. Um, but the feedback from the inputs on the Switch is much worse for some reason. I always have input issues. Um, on games that I, it, this is hard, to, this is gonna be hard to articulate while playing this, but I always have issues with cross-platform games only on the Nintendo Switch. It's only, if I have in, input issues, right, with a game, it's only on the Switch. It's never on, like, I had problems with, like, Super Meat Boy in this game. Oh, I gotta grab him, right? Um, yeah, see, this is what I was talking about, by the way. So I had super problems with Super Meat Boy Forever, like doing the, um, what's it called? The punches, timing the punches was, was a lot more difficult, and that in, in this game, the directional dash was much more difficult, like the inputs would not read. Why did I even try that? Oh, you're supposed to do that. Okay. Got it. That's what I was trying to do. Oh, that was so easy. No, the way this one. Knowing this game, it ain't that hard, it just looks hard. Actually, yeah, that's fact. Th let me give you a pro tip for this game. Tr play it. Don't look at these levels, just play them. Like, don't get overwhelmed by by how ridiculous these levels look. Because they, they, they do look ridiculous. Right? That was my second try. And, I, and on my, when I saw that, I thought it was impossible. So, this is the point I'm trying to prove, right? And this is the last room in the level. Um, so this is the point I'm trying to prove, man. This game looks really, like, difficult. And it presents itself in a way that is fearsome, but it's not that bad. This game is fine. This game is not that hard. As long as you have the... This game, guys, and games like this are a test of patience. And there are times, and that's why I'm 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 always like iffy, or sorry, picky, with the games that I choose to play, because these games are all a test of patience. That's all they are. You're sitting in front of your screen and pressing buttons. It's a test of patience. Okay, you're doing the same thing over and over again. Don't let people tell you this game is that hard. If you try and do the golden strawberry stuff, yeah, that's ridiculous. But this game is... It, it's high. Thank <laughs> you. 
I like this part, it's like a rhythm game. Oh! oh. What? Yo, explain to me how that worked. Explain to me how I did that. How did that work? Alright, whatever. Let me... Wait, I hope this thing is recording. Oh, it is. Okay. Nah, because sometimes it doesn't. Let me make sure. My audio is working? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> that, that's that's me carrying my problems right there 500 700 that's not too bad bro this the other one i had 800 on which was, uh, was uh, this goddamn hotel i hated the hotel all right We're for, oh, this one. did you know it is impossible to outrun your own reflection Well... one before hey that was worth it okay I knew if I clicked through the dialogue options I would get something I did it <laughs> that's why you have to be patient with games ladies and gentlemen and don't just click through the dialogue like a little child you bought the game you paid $60 for it you paid $20 in this case you paid whatever you paid for it Click through the dialogue options, man. See what the game has to offer. Don't just run through the story and then call it a day. Sometimes, I, I, I'm not a big believer in, like, going through, combing through every inch of the game. And, like, it is kind of hypocritical for me to be saying this because I don't really play too much of my games either. But I try to enjoy them as much as I can. And, like, there is something to enjoy in the story of most games. So, like, you know, give it some time. Give it a chance, right? I don't know. At least, at least with me. Yeah, I feel like if I don't, I'm just missing out. And you paid for it anyway, so, like, what's the point? <laughs> the devs put time into it. And it's like two extra minutes. And a lot of the time, you'll get cool stuff from it. So just enjoy your games, guys. Seriously. A lot of people are obsessed with, like, having a bunch of stupid, mind-numbing amount of content in their game. Look at the- just enjoy it for what it is. How many people are looking for, like, a specific product? And you can find it with video games, but sometimes you just gotta be patient and give it a chance. 